All right, folks, here we are, back at our old cold customs. Hey, you know, we're always up to something. Well, since we have finally moved, got moved in, doing what we gotta do, got the house fixed up pretty much. Still, we, you're never finished with the house. We all know how that goes. But anyhow, so many people asked about the toggle switches. So we've come up with a new design. This is what will be going out to the chrome shops whenever they're selling it. Uh, these panels, though, everybody has to measure them. These are all different sizes. I don't have all that. Because if you go to a smaller panel, for instance, if you were to go to the 3.65 wide by 8.65 long, obviously I'm not going to be able to put no design on here. I don't have a panel around here to show why, but the glass lenses themselves are three and a quarter inches. So that pretty much takes up this whole deal and you'd have two spots for switches. That's it. So that's the problem with that. Now, with that being said, with the, he the room on the headliner, you have space to actually go bigger and I can still put your four holes where they need to be to direct fit. Now on the newer trucks, like the kidney beans looking deals in the new 389s and late 379s, that's a clip-in system. It's not a screw-in deal. So, but you do have a plastic headliner. So you can go ahead and whether you self-tappers or you drill a hole and put bolt and screw. Either which way, there's too many, people have too many different ways of doing it, which is fine. We all have our own ways, right? But anyhow, these here, this, this size here I made for my truck, 5 by 10. Now this is going to go into an old international pay star. So I'm just saying, there ain't no map lights in that. Well, it will now. And on the back side of them, that's all we got sticking out is just an eighth of an inch where the wires are just in this little spot here. So even in your headliner... The worst you'd have to do is make a spot a half inch wide by about two inches long. So that'll recess in there. Now if it has padding in the sand ceiling already, well that's obviously going to get eaten up with the padding when you tighten down the whole panel. <clears throat> now for the people asking about the new Kenworths, that just, they're just too small of a panel. But you can go with a more universal panel like this and have no problem. Now these toggle switches, I have to make the extensions for them because it's a much smaller toggle switch. Now hold on, I'll get one. Uh, I was going to go and grab the full size one. But the little, the toggle end of it is much smaller than the old Carlisle switches. Focus you fuck. There you go. But any which way. I got these colors. I got more coming. So we got, you know, your purples. They're translucent. Yeah, damn it. Focus, you damn stupid camera. And you got amber and some neon colors. Blue. So, and I got red, obviously. It's already on there. But yeah, when you order them, they'll come with the toggle switch extension. And what this does is both of these... Either which way, that'll turn on the ceiling glow, which is that bottom glow there that just glows across the ceiling. But e either which way, you turn them inwards, that's ceiling glow. Now, that gives you the option, though. You got your white bulb on. You can, you can also turn on your red bulb. Or you can turn on ceiling glow with the white. Or you can go ahead and swap them both that way and you got the red ceiling glow and the red glow lit up. Or you can just have ceiling glow. Or you can have them both red and white on. Either which way. So there's what the panel looks like from the side view. This is hand drawn design, I did this. They're a little bit thicker, but like I says, you can go ahead and uh, you can just bolt them up pretty much anywhere. 
and if you got padding on the ceiling, it'll obviously take in that little bit of wire right there. You'd have to drill a hole for the wire to go in, but you can see how much that sets off. Now, if you got a solid ceiling, you would have to cut a small rectangle or hole for that to go in. Now, for instance, here we go. Let's take a journey. This is an old FLD interior out of my FLD that I restored. As you can see, it did have map lights. It actually had those ones, which are the exact same as the late 80s, early 90s, Pete 379, the same bolt pattern. I'm trying not to make you people dizzy. But for instance, it's already got this hole cut out. Here's our slim line, and it just has two wires that come out. Obviously, I can go ahead and put four holes and mount that, for instance, right in there. No problem. And that takes away from that old clutter. And that's the slim line, like I said. Get your ceiling glow with the rocker switches. White, red. But anyhow, like I, I'm trying to explain to people is just because it's got this screw pattern, which is that size right there. Seven and a half and two and a half. Seven and a half and two and a half, the wife just told me. But that doesn't fit the design. But hey, if I want the design, then obviously I'm gonna want a little bit bigger of a panel in which that has no problem going right in there because you already got a hole in the ceiling panel. Now, if you don't have a hole in the ceiling panel, it's not that hard to add one. But this is, the thing is people need to tell us the size they want. And if they do want screw holes, then they're gonna have to let us know the size. Now this panel here, is set up the same exact size as that. And the holes are in the same place. That one. Yes, that's that one. Oh, okay. I know, I'm not telling them that one. This one I made bigger, and this is a universal panel because it's flush enough, you can go ahead and do it. I'm keep, Cody, I'm keeping the price at the same as I did. I think we had to add $5 due to the uh, toggle switches. So it's $175 for one panel. You got your choice of ceiling glow color, the design, their glass lenses, stainless uh, ring, toggle switches with the toggle switch extensions. And just real quick, because I'm the one that's answering all y'all's questions. What we do is we do one light white, one light the color of your choice, ceiling glow the color of your choice. Available colors are red, blue, green, amber, purple, and of course the white. But nobody's asked for white ceiling glow yet. So that helps out some. And that includes shipping and tax. Eastern U.S. shipping. Yeah, and not Canada, not Australia, because, well, that gets rather expensive quickly. Yeah, and they like to charge me extra for California. But what I'm trying to tell people is if they want the larger size so they can go ahead and have the design, which, like I said, I hand drew that. Oh, it's still bolted down. Oh, well. Anyhow. Just go bigger. If you got the room to go bigger, that ain't no problem. Like, for instance, the kidney bean style 389 lights of a Pete. There's room enough that people are doing 5 by 11. So they're making a larger panel to cover up that whole kidney bean deal, and then they're just either small bolts or self-tappers going into the ceiling. Like I said, that's all that sticks out back here. There's an eighth of an inch, just these little prongs that all the switches, these are able to be maintained by yourself as well. So they're not all fully sealed. You can take them apart and we can change lights out. I guarantee them. You can send them back if you have a light issue for ceiling glow and I'll fix them for free. That comes with it. Like I said, we got different colors. So if you want purple, we got purple uh, extensions. If you want them a little bit longer, we can make them longer. These are an inch and three quarters. Uh, yes, there is for the, oh, for the door. I can add an extra wire that will go to your white. 
That is no problem. I'll do that for free. Just make to go sure to you your door, yeah, you got to let us know to go to your door sensor and it will automatically turn on the white one when you open the door. We've done that for many people on the other styles that we have done. <clears throat> so if you want the extra wire just to go to your door sensor, that's not a problem. We'll do that. The rest of it is just a power and negative. So constant power in your ground. I can add in, like I said, a third wire just for your door switch. So when you open the door, it lights up. But yeah, you can turn on red individually, for instance. You can turn them both on, white as individual as well. But then when the light's on, with that switch, you can go and turn on the ceiling glow with it. And you can do it with the red as well. Or you can just leave ceiling glow. But like I said, everybody has to let us know the size that they're looking for. You don't have to stick with factory size. You can go wider. Like I said, this size, for instance, the factory size, I cannot put the design on there. But uh, you still get the ceiling glow. You still get each bulb. And I can do the toggle switches, no problem. But the thing is, you're going to lose out on the design at that size. Now, instead of 3.65, if you were to go 5 inches, which this is 5 by 10, and that totally fits what I needed to, my application to fit, that works. I have no problem putting a gosh darn hole in my ceiling panel to mount these. Yes, unfortunately, especially with the clip-in styles, because people keep asking, is this a direct replacement? No, they, it, we just can't do it. There's too many different sizes, Variations, styles, yeah. shapes, you name it. So we're trying to make it, it's custom work. Um, I'm going to ask a lot of questions because anytime you guys message, it's me that's talking back to you. So I need to know the size of the panel you need. If you want the screw holes a specific distance from center of screw hole to center of screw hole, I'll see what I can do. Um, the lens is kind of messed with me. It goes off your me. measurements. Yeah, I need measurements. So the tape measure will be your best friend whenever we are talking. Um, another thing is the smallest we can do because of the size of the glass lenses themselves is the 3.65 by 8.65. Something similar to that. It works well in the 90s and early 2000 peats. Um, Kenworth, a lot of people have been asking me about them, but it's just too small. I can't put a lens on a flat surface whenever their size is three inches. I, I just don't have enough room for the lens and everything else. Well, here, I'll grab a piece of stainless steel. But, um, yeah, measurements are good um, with the peats. The early 90s were usually two and a half inches from center to center, seven and a half that way. Um, the late 90s, early 2000s, those ones, they squished them a little bit, so it's two inches and six inches. When that happens, they'll go underneath oh. the lens itself. For instance, the stainless bezel would be going here. And the second one would be going there. So there's no room for the design. Like I said, everybody can pick your size. If it's going to work in your truck, that's perfectly fine. But it doesn't have to be OEM spec size. You can go bigger. It's custom, obviously. You want to be different. Okay, Mr. Wiring Guru. Can you do a red with a three wire so you can wire it on the hot side so it's brighter? Uh, you're, what they're looking for there is more of a... Um, it's a low and high light. Is, is that what he's asking? Yeah. yeah. Uh, these are just T10 bulbs, T110s, T194s, or no, T10s, T194s. They don't have the option like uh, you would have as a turn signal, stop, turn, tail, where you have a marker light, and then you'd have a brighter side to that for your stop and turn. Uh, I haven't looked into that. That is something I do. I mean, these are awfully damn bright. This is pure daylight. All the garage doors are open. All the garage lights are on. Uh, the camera's just dulling this down due to the fact the way it focuses. And the next one that I get asked quite often, let's explain the uh, two colors in one lens, the dual revolution. Uh, what I did is I separated them so I could use two three-way, uh, three-position switches. Because doing it the other way, adding a, another whole light to these, I can no longer get the ring lights I used to get. 
the where I was able to go ahead and do that to some. Unless that changes, I at this moment I'm just doing one in one. Yeah, just for the can't moment. get the pieces that we need at this point in time. So I don't know if the manufacturers discontinued it or they. That's what the problem with this whole damn line of business. Just want to go back trucking, honestly, because every time I turn around, these bulbs have changed numerous times, and it makes more of a headache for me because they just don't keep us. They don't keep it. I don't know why. Or they change it so we can't use it. Yeah. It's either too fat for us to fit in the acrylic or something else or... Oh, and then when they wire it backwards, that's always fun for you. I hear you screaming at the stuff while you're making it then. Yeah, then uh, the ground is your main... Yeah, never mind. I'm not going to confuse everybody with that. But any <laughs> which way. At this moment, what we're doing is single lens, single color. And the three-way switch controls them but you can go and turn on that and your ceiling glow with it or both down and you got ceiling glow in the white globe uh, it says the biggest thing that we need is what measurements you exactly want and where you want your holes we'll put them there but i'm going off of what you guys send me as a measurement um uh, it says if i were just to make oem equipment we're just not going to have no designs on them and that's fine some people are fine with that this is more me here and yeah the lights are all led and another thing that i've been asked before is colors the lenses are glass they're clear they are yeah. clear glass we do not get those cheap ones that you can find from united the pacific plastic, well no the plastic ones are yeah they're, they, they're one piece molded yes yeah, yeah so yeah i see that there's amber colored lenses um Red colored lenses. I wish you'd still lenses. make that glass, but the problem is, so many. It's actually getting really hard just to get clear watermelon, for instance. I don't know why it's going out of style when it's not going out of style. But yeah, to keep it simple, because otherwise we would not have room in the shop to have everything on. So the lenses are all clear glass, and then we put the color light of your choice underneath it. If you want two blues, you can do that. As, as long as it's a single color, Dylan, I will tell him to make both lenses blue and the ceiling glow blue. Um, yeah. You just have to let us we know. Had the, <laughs> we had one guy order both lenses to be blue with a purple underglow. That's no problem. We'll switch it up any which way. I can, if it's feasible and I'm able to do that, there's no problem. We can switch it up any which ways that you can come up with. It doesn't hurt to ask. And normally when you ask, I'll go run and ask him or, you know, wait until he's done whatever project he's doing. So if I don't get back to you right away, it's usually because I'm waiting for him to give me an well, answer. Well, a lot of people are ordering now because of the old corona Rony virus. So a lot of people have been at home. So a lot of, right now we're getting a lot of stuff coming in. So give us a minute to get back to you is all. <laughs> and we got the bunny coming tomorrow. So things are kind of... And two kids, plus going out looking at equipment, high lifts and... Got trucks on the way and drivers. I got to get to interviewing. and So I, I'm trying to simplify all this to where it works for everybody. We're still doing this while trucking full time is what I'm trying to get to. And Seth, um, once you get your measurements, before you even start messaging, send us a private message with the size that you want the panel to be. If you need screw holes at a certain place, I need the distance center of screw hole to center of screw hole so I can lay it out on my CAD program I to make sure everything that. will fit with all the wires and everything and the switches and all that good type stuff. We do all of our invoicing through PayPal. I just need a good email address to send the payment to or to send the invoice to. Once I send the invoice, you don't have to have a PayPal account. There's an option, you just click it and it will say, you know, don't have a PayPal account, enter your debit or credit card information. You enter all that, it tells me you paid, we put it on the order board and we get to making it. Yeah, once it's, once it's paid, then it's made because we've had too many people, $20,000 worth of people last year didn't, that didn't pay invoices. And so. with the amount of orders that we get, it's just me and him doing all of this. So it does take time to make. I'm going to work on this visor deal and make up one to present as well. So I think those would look pretty badass. I thought that's last night, the other night, and I forgot to. I'm going to have to check it. where I can get those now. A couple people stopped selling them. 
Yeah, because everybody wants to stop selling everything. I don't know why. Yeah, I know. I'm even not ready to punch all these companies. Even the one supplier, she's like, I don't know why they they stopped making it. Um, yeah, she's like, everybody wants them, and now I can't get them for anybody. Gotta love the big wigs that decide all this stuff. Pencil pushers, just like the same pencil pencil pushers at the FMCSA. Everybody's got a bright idea, but no, for no reason. Waste of time. But anyhow, main thing is is measurements. Measure out. That uh, says OEM panels ain't gonna work. The newer Kenworths, it's they have this weird. I think some of the new Peeps have them too. Like it comes back and it makes a bulge and. Oh, make yeah, a it, panel, just go straight over that and call it a day because, yeah, I don't know why they did that. If you want ones for your sleepers, get me a measurement. Let me know how many lenses you want on it. Let me know how many toggle, or if you want toggle switches or rocker switches. If you want a bull skull, let me know you want a bull skull. As yeah. long as I got those measurements and what you want, I will gladly make up a computer sample and send it off to you. Yeah, the computer sample isn't the greatest, but that's what my CAD program does. But it'll give you a basic layout, and you'll see the circles where the lenses go. You'll see the rectangles where the switches go. And like I said, if you want uh, barbed wire, I can do that. If you want just a simple border on it, I can do that. The more info you give me, the better I can help you. But yeah, we can make these too. Uh, there's our people. We have made them before. Four lenses wide. I think the panel was like six by 28 with designs on it. We've done that for multiple people. Hell, if you want it to be shit, four feet wide with 10 lenses or whatever fits on that, we can do that as well. It all depends on how much money you want to spend. Yeah, that's what it comes down to at the end of the day. And this ain't free for me to make by no means neither. Uh, uh, it says these panels here, this panel with the glass lenses, the toggles, including the uh, toggle switch extensions, that is $175 a piece for one panel. That includes shipping and tax. Our regular panels are $170, even the slim lines. No, we go by size, baby. These ones well, yeah. are $169. Those ones, since it takes more material, wire, oh, machine yeah, one time. Oh, well, one seven. Yeah. yeah, it was one dollar off. Sorry. Well, I'm just explaining since I'm here. Yeah, very cheesy, very. These ones are one seventy five because extra materials and That's extra ma was, machine yeah. time too for all the running that it's doing. Uh, do we have a new design for the center dome light? If you're talking about the uh, one that's on a six inch circle base. We made a couple different ones. Um, I had a guy ask for a human skull, so I did a human skull. Um, another one skull. wanted a bull skull. I did a bull skull. Then he had us add lights for the eyes to stay red whenever it was lit up white. That was yeah. interesting. Yeah, it's pretty much with anything. If I can fit it in the space available, I will do my dangest to get it in there. You want your company logo to an extent, depending on how much material we have to work with or... A CB handle or, or even the logo of the truck, it all depends on the size. Like a 5x10 panel, for instance, covers a lot. A lot of the people with the kidney beans are doing 55 by 10 and a half or else 5x11s. That gives us room to actually do stuff on it. Uh, doing the just over 35 by 8 and a half, there's no room left. It's Bobby Fisher asking. Oh, hey Bobby, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> And talk to him in a coon's age. But yeah, if you want custom designs, um, just let me know, and I will do my best to find something or have him draw something up. And black and white images work the best. So I'm on here now actually talking. This stuff here, everything that lights up is what gets engraved. Whenever I go on my CAD program, if I have a black and white image, whatever's black gets engraved, and that's what's going to light up. So, unfortunately, photos don't come out well. We've had people ask if they could do, like, their dad or something like that. Perhaps it doesn't work that great. Whenever I drew it, I drew it by hand with pencil, and she went ahead and put it in the computer. This is what I came out at the end. We were looking at it without the switch dealio. And then with the switch dealio. But, yeah, black and white images. Yeah, and if you have a multicolored logo, I'm going to do my darndest to make it just simple black and white. But yeah, like we were saying about the OEM, as you can see here at this size, after the switches are in there, there's no room for design. 
It's a diff and that's the same size as this one here. But since, yeah. We'll move that. But you can see there's no room to play with once the glass is on there. So you got to go with something like five by 10 just to get images. But there's a lot of room up there in that cab. And if you measure it out, like I says, we can, we don't add on unless it gets to being like two feet long. Then yes, we add the price on. But you know, if it's going to be five by 10 or five and a half by, 11, by 10 and a half or five by 12, stuff like that, we're, the price still stays the same. No matter that kind of size, but if we get into being 18 inches long and shit like that starts changing and 20 inches. Because materials do cost money, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, and if you put it in one size bigger box, they're going to charge you an extra like five bucks to ship the dang thing. Yeah, shipping alone already costs us 20 to $30, so and that's at the cheap end. But yeah, I says we can do a lot with... Uh, you just got to get us to your sizes. If you want, if you can fit a little bit bigger, you want designs, you don't have to fit a little bit bigger. And like I said, this is power and ground. If you do want an extra wire, say to turn on your white light, oh, wrong one. for whenever uh, the door opens, I can add that wire and you wire it right into your door switch, which is already up there at the ceiling panel anyhow. Not no big deal. But yeah, that's the dealio. Uh, it says this is going in an old Paystar, 79 Paystar, and I'm just going to bolt it right to the ceiling, and that's in the interior, because I don't care. It's going to cover up all the other garbage, and I'll have something cool. <laughs> but yeah, if you're interested, just make sure to send us a private message, and I'll uh, start... Roll cool Customs. And then I will start the question and answer session. But yeah, we have other colors. We have other colors and extensions. So yeah, let us know what you're looking for. We'll go from there. But like I said, these are pretty much flush. It only hangs out by an eighth inch. That's the wire just hanging up. You can push that down, but by an eighth of an inch. So even if you have a ceiling panel or a sleeper panel that has padding, it don't matter. Once you screw that down, that padding is going to take up that difference. It's not going to show. And you only have to drill a hole for the wires if there is no existing lights there. Not a big deal. And this fits every, this will fit all of the original panels that already have cutouts on them. For instance, like the FLD already has a rectangle. Your peats already do. And even the Kenworth teardrops, we'll be able to do them where those are direct fit. Uh, just like we did the old ones. One screw here goes direct fit. First screw goes direct fit, double lens long, so that way you have one glass of each color, and we do them at the same price, and those will be direct fit. So. Uh, those are the same style toggles like the late 90s peak toggles on the dash. No, these are smaller. Um, let me climb over this chair here and see what I can do to find the original toggle. <laughs> I have a few of them. Oh, there's one right there. He's grabbing it. Yeah, these are a lot smaller just so I didn't make a big impact on the ceiling. Didn't want these hanging out real far. Alright. And that's why the toggle switch extensions won't work. Here's it. Your Carlisle switch. I believe it's Carlisle. Or Carling, sorry. And here's the toggle switch we're using. So you can see that's night and day difference. Yeah, it would have been harder to fit those big goony ones. I would have had to use over a half inch packing of thickness. So um, I'm trying to keep it to have a low profile. Oh, focus, yeah, yeah. Trying to keep it to have a low profile so we don't have this big thick plate on the ceiling. And that's, I just stumbled across these. That's the whole reason this came up. But, yeah. And that's why, hence the reason I have to manufacture these. So, they fit. I may get into doing the bigger ones as well. We'll see, time will tell. All right. Anything else? Uh, I'm not sure. Did I forget my wallet? 
I ain't got no money anyhow. You took it all. No, I spent it on the crap, like your booze that you keep telling me to buy. Shut up about my booze. That's mine. But anyhow, you guys got any questions? Yeah, just hit us up. We'll see what we can do. Until later. Until next time. Stay cool. Keep the rony off of you. <laughs> Happy Easter. Later, folks.